2021 Aston Martin DBX first test, it's great. Period. It's also maybe the best Aston Martin ever, at least from a certain point of view. One of the biggest laughs in automotive themed time travel would be to set the dial to the mid-1990s the beginning of Aston Martin's Ford era and roll up to Aston's old Bloxham factory in a contemporary Explorer SUV. Posing as a FOMO co-executive in an ill-fitting suit, you'd round up a cluster of Aston's finest engineers. I want you to make that, you smile, pointing at the Explorer, handle, ride, look, and sound like that, swinging your finger over to a DB7 in the car park. Thankfully, back in the present, the British automaker developed its actual first ever SUV, the 2021 Aston Martin DBX, on its own terms, unbeholden to any looming corporate overlords. And the result actually breathes some truth into our ridiculous fantasy, the DBX is a crossover SUV that damned near handles, rides, looks, and sounds like the current vantage. After a week spent driving the DBX on the road and at our test track, it's obvious Aston dug deep in creating its SUV. That's a good thing, considering this is one of the biggest leaps the boutique automaker has ever taken, Aston's not particularly well known for its fat budgets, and the fact it developed an SUV on a proprietary platform with such attention to detail and a well-sorted chassis is nothing short of a leather-lined miracle. Plenty of Mercedes, but lots of Aston, too. We're sure technical partner Mercedes-Benz would have been tickled pink to license or supply one of its many SUV platforms to the British automaker, but as in the cases of the current Vantage and DB11 V8, Aston handled the basic architecture while helping itself to the 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, 9-speed automatic transmission, 4-matic all-wheel drive system, electronic architecture and infotainment from Mercedes and AMG stores. The Aston AMG partnership has coalesced around that 4.0-liter, which slots under the hoods of every Aston model save the V12-only DBS Superlegra. To help cope with the 5,086-pound heft of the DBX a good 1,700 pounds over the Vantage engineers goosed an additional 39 horsepower and 10 lbft from the V8 to ensure it can fend off full-throttle salvos from competing performance SUVs. Teamed with Merck's snappy 9-speed automatic transmission and clever all-wheel drive, the 4.0-liter hustled the big Aston through the quarter mile in 12.5 seconds, and through the 0-60 mph sprint in 4.0 ticks. It takes a second for the engine to really wake up even when standing on the brake to spool the turbos, Associate Road Test Editor Eric Ayapana said, but it fires out of the hole like a rocket once that happens. That's excellent performance for a five-door, five-person anything, but it notably lags the outrageously quick 3.2 second 0 to 60 run and 11.7 second quarter mile charge we recorded during our test of the similarly expensive Cayenne Turbo Coupe last year, to say nothing of what the Lamborghini Urus managed to notch, 60 miles per hour in 3.0 seconds and the quarter in 11.3. Hotter DBX ES are coming. This is likely by design, as Aston has already committed to faster, hotter DBX ES in the future. Crucially, the regular DBX is quicker on paper than the identically priced 2021 Bentley Bentayga V8, settling in nicely between the laser-focused Porsche and the buttery smooth Bentley. In other words, the DBX fits Aston Martin's 108-year-old philosophy to AT, just as the character of the Vantage places it between Porsche's 911 Carrera S and Bentley's Continental GT and that of the DBS Superlegra puts that car between the Ferrari 812 Superfast and the Rolls-Royce Wraith.